Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Like any pasta recipe, we're going to start out with some boiling water, add some seasoning, of course the olive oil, and our linguine. Because this takes the longest, we'll just let it sit and do its thing. Now here in another hot pan, we'll add our olive oil and some red onion shallots. Now we're going to add our main ingredient, the Bloody Mary mix. Bold and spicy. A little bit of celery salt. And a shake of some black pepper. A little bit of sugar. Now that'll reduce a little bit, but we're going to add our tomatoes. Again, it'll reduce. This is when we add our vodka. And we'll just let that sit and reduce again. And another pan, we're going to get our shrimp going. What about olive oil? throw on these jumbos. Now if you don't already know how to cook shrimp or these jumbos, just spread them out evenly. Make sure they're all flat. We'll cook each side. One flip, that's all. Come on little guy. There you go. Now we'll add our butter. Let that melt down in there and add some garlic. Generously add this garlic. A little bit of parsley. And give it a good stir. That's all you need. If you'd like a little bit of salt, that's all right too, but that's really all you need. Linguini out. You can add olive oil to this too right now if you'd like some more. It's not necessary though. But now we'll take our Bloody Mary mix over the top. Give it a good stir. Once it's fully incorporated, we're going to go back to the stove real quick. This only takes a few seconds. Some olive oil, some breadcrumbs, some parsley. And just stir, toss, until it gets a little bit of that golden brown. And just bring it back over to your Bloody Mary Linguini. Throw it over the top. And of course, once again, give it a good toss. Now this is the way I like to plate it. Right in the middle. Big old pile of noodles. And as much as I can, get all the goods spread right over the top of it. All those breadcrumbs and tomatoes. Make it look nice. And just like that. Now we'll be taking our shrimp, we'll just go all the way around the outside of the linguine. Yeah, I know what you're thinking, I'm thinking it too. It looks good. Oh, let's straighten that out a bit. Well, that's it. Bloody Mary linguine, right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.